Ayan, so na-meet mo na si Afam mo sa dating app. Nagkakilala na kayo. Nagkasama na kayo. Time na para magpakasal. Or kasal na kayo. Pero ano-ano nga ba ang mga requirements para makapag-stay dito sa Denmark although kasal ka na sa isang Danish citizen? Mabuhay ka bayan! This is Christine from Denmark and welcome to my podcast Filipina Life Abroad where we tell stories, experiences, or anything else we encounter as a Filipina living outside the Philippines. Stay tuned dahil napaka-importante nitong i-discuss ko for you as a Filipina or Filipino na kasal sa Danish citizen. But before anything else, disclaimer, 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 ito ay para lamang sa may mga asawang Danish citizen na nakatira sa Denmark. Kasi meron pa mga ibang nationalities na nakatira dito and iba yung rules for them. You might need a pen and paper or get your phone ready to write down the important details I'm about to tell you. Alright, so nung nagsimula ako dito sa Denmark, ang visa ko ay under ng tinatawag na au pair system. That was a two years contract and before, actually, binalak ko pa na pumunta ng ibang country after ko maging au pair dito sa Denmark para maging au pair ulit. Kaso, hindi na pumayag si Afam ko. Ang haba ng hair, di ba? Kaya, nag-decide na kaming magpakasal kasi sabi niya, doon na rin naman daw yung punta nun. Pero, hindi porket kasal na ako dito sa isang Danish citizen ay makakapag-stay na ako. Kailangan ko pa rin ng visa na tinatawag na Family Reunification for Spouses. So, nga pala, ang lahat ng information na ito ay makikita sa official website for applying any visa for Denmark and that is niidanmark.dk or spelled as n-y-i-d-a-n-m-a-r-k dot d-k. Meron po itong English and Danish version pero For now, tinagalog ko lang para mas nanonood sa buto, okay? Alright, itong mga requirements na ito ay nahahati sa tatlong categories. First, for you as an applicant or as a Filipina or Filipino citizen. Number two is for him or her as a Danish citizen and for both of you. So, umpisahan natin sa for both of you. Number one. Kailangan ang marriage contract nyo kung sa Pinas kayo kinasal ay naka-red ribbon. Hindi ko na po ipatakel yung process ng pag-red ribbon dahil iba pa yung process nun. And kung dito naman kayo kinasal sa Denmark ay igagide kayo ng munisipyo or simbahan nyo or saan man kayo kinasal para sa legal papers or marriage certificate nyo. Number two requirements. Hindi pwedeng peke ang pagsasama nyo. Hindi pinilit dahil may mga iba na allegedly ginawang negosyo ang pagpapakasal para lang makakuha ng visa. Hindi po agree ang Denmark sa tinatawag na forced marriage. Next requirement would be 24 year. Yun yung dapat 24 years old ka, nasa tamang edad. Next requirement Danish language. You can also check my other video on how to learn Danish fast. And the last, for both of you, you just need to meet the integration requirements for each. For you as the applicant and for them as a Danish citizen. In principle, 4 out of 6 ng requirements ay dapat mamit ninyo. Example, you meet all the 3 and then 1 na lang kay uh, Danish spouse. Eh, or the other way around, or pwede namang 2 sa'yo or 2 sa kanya. Basta ma-meet nyo in total of 4 ng 6 requirements. Alright, so let's move on naman sa requirement mo as an applicant. Number 1, kailangan you visited Denmark at least once. Next requirement, you need to pass Two Danish language test. And then the next thing, nasasabihin ko yung three options for you. Yung sinasabi ko kanina na dapat sa integration requirements, mamit ninyo ang four out of six. There will be three for you, which am I gonna tell now, and three for the Danish spouse. Number one option is Danish language test at B1 level or English test or also known as IELTS 
at B1 level. And then, number two option, kailangan may work ka for at least 3 years for the last 5 years. And the last option, you have completed at least 1 year of higher education. Again, kapag nalito po kayo, every info is on the Danish website ni edanmark.dk. Okay, for the requirements of the Danish spouse, this part I will just take a screenshot ng requirements since ito naman ay mostly for you as a Filipino. But again, all the info ay ilalagay ko na din po sa link sa description ng video na ito. Okay? I know, I know, napakaraming kailangan i-absorb. Pero alam mo, kabayan, sa lahat naman ng bansa, palagi talagang dapat na may sundin na requirements or rules. Alam ko, the requirements are quite hard but it is not impossible. Alam mo, ang tip ko sa'yo, basahin ninyo together seven times or more yung bawat isang mga kailangan na mapunan. And everything will go smooth. Para iwas na din ang sakit ng ulo, pabalik-balik na application. Kasi it takes time din. Hindi para, para hindi masayang yung effort mo, yung oras mo, and for your peace of mind na rin. Okay? Lagi kang maglista. Dapat meron kang checklist. And alam mo, you just have to follow the rules. Sabi nga, the law applies to all, otherwise none at all. Well, ano pa man yan? Good luck sa journey mo. Sana one day mag-meet tayo dito sa Denmark at magkaroon tayong lahat ng magandang buhay na ating pinapangarap. Well, salamat po sa pakikinig. Sana ay may natutunan kayo or napulot na aral o kahit nakarelate man lang sa aking kwento. And if you want to ask me some questions, I will try to answer them or even just keep in touch with me. You can find our Facebook group, Filipina Life Abroad community or subscribe to my YouTube channel Christine Round Filipina in Denmark. Until next time, have a nice day. Bye!